Hi there, I'm Luther Blacklock from Explain Our Golf. And I'm here to help you with one of the most terrifying shots in golf that's called the shank. And it happens to golfers at every level. You can see the odd shank from a tour pro and you'll believe that shanking is mental. Well, it's not. The first shank is physical. Once you've had one, of course, then the second, third and fourth and so on, they become mental. So let's understand where it, ca where it comes from. Particularly when we've got less than a full wedge. A lot of you guys at home will be good with a full wedge, but less than a full wedge and a, just a 20 yard chip with a wedge can hold some terror. And the reason is that when you go back and the body is static, all you have is form rotation and the ball comes out of the hosel. So that's why I call it a socket rocket because it comes right out of that part of the club and goes off there about 50 degrees to the right and it's terrifying. So, if I get my prop, I've got a book by Alex Hay there, all his afternoon speeches, and I'm gonna hold the book between my palms. If I then turn sideways to you, you can see what should happen. The hands and the shoulders should do this, you see? But when the body dies, the book rolls. And if you stay there, look where it's going. Okay, so we minimize form rotation. There has to be a little bit, but by keeping the shoulders, arms and club, then we're safe. And we can add a bit of a, uh, an exaggeration, really. We can set up and we can swing slightly out to in. In other words, we're going to play the shot with a bit of slice spin, a bit of cut spin. The good news is you can't slice a wedge or a sand iron, 9 9 8 iron or a lob wedge. You can't, there's too much loft. But if we play the shot a little bit from outing with cut spin, we're moving the hosel away from the ball rather than towards it. So here we go, 27 yards, slightly out to in. You know that the forearm movement is safe, ball pops in the air, and the loft of the club does its business. Now, I've hit that a little bit too hard, so I'll get the pace right for you this time. So setting up, blade between the feet. I mustn't go in here, that's dangerous. If anything, I can go outside the line. So here we go, 27 yards, slightly out to in. I'm trying to slice the wedge, but the loft doesn't allow me. And there we are, we've got good distance. Okay, now, if you've been shanking, you can't go from shanking to good overnight. It takes time, not just to fix you mechanically, but it takes time to build the confidence. But be patient with it. Now you've got the medicine, if you apply it, you're gonna be fine. And it won't be long before you see this little shot over a bunker as an opportunity to succeed rather than a chance to fail.